to Wendy, I want to say that I am very proud of you, too, because I think that you came on board as just this really, really scared girl. You started as an intern. A lot of people don't know that. She was an intern for uh, The Night Show. She came on board with The Burt Show, and she plunged into this environment of this group of people that are this tight brothers and sister family, and here she is, this younger sibling coming in and having to work her way into this dynamic that was had been established for years. And um, you held your head up high when you were going through struggles, when listeners were rejecting you completely. Um, and I want to talk to the listeners about that for a second, too, that please don't do that to the next person that's coming on board. Um, because we talk about Tracy and Wendy and these beautiful women who are coming on and having their careers uh, develop and mature. And I don't want you to do that to the next person that comes on the show because they're they have an opportunity for their careers to mature and evolve with these great group of people. So I ask everybody to please embrace the next interim person that comes in and embrace the next permanent person that comes in and make them a part of this family, as I know these guys in the studio will. But with Wendy, what I'm most proud is that you have embraced yourself more by uh, focusing on what you love to do. And the dancing, I can't tell you how excited I am about the dancing because that's the first time you've done something for yourself. And I don't know if you you realize that, but to watch how happy you are in doing that and how you dedicate so much time and effort into this thing that you love is a gift to yourself. And I've never seen you do that before, so I'm so happy that you're doing that, and I hope you continue to do that. I'll forget about this. <laughs> this, is, this is never going to happen. <laughs> you can do an interpretive dance. <laughs> <laughs> I can do it. No, I haven't known Melissa probably the least out of everybody in this room, but for three and a half years, it's who I've walked into the building to say hello to first. It's the first person, if I ever have a struggle, it's the first person I talk to about the struggle before I even talk to my mom about things. She's the most genuine, strong woman that I know. And even her words today were words of encouragement. And every time I come into this building, it's words of encouragement. When I get something negative, it's Melissa who brings me from the bottom up to the top because she shows the strength on there every single day. There's negative people who say really hateful things. And she pursues her opinions on the air. And it's Melissa who's my mentor, who I've got to sit next to. <laughs> For three and a half years and learn how to be a personality from learn how to do this job right learn to say what i feel and not be scared to say what i feel and i think these past three and a half years that i've gotten to sit next to melissa carter she has made me a stronger person and i owe the my radio path so far to her this growing path that i've had this strength that i've been able to been able to get i owe it to melissa because anything i need melissa is there and it's it sucks because the cubicle the cubicle is empty and i know on monday i'm gonna walk in here and if i have something that went wrong this weekend <laughs> i can't ask melissa about it the first thing on monday morning and it it's, it sucks but you have been a great mentor to me and i appreciate everything you do and i appreciate all your opinions whether i agree or disagree and i think you're a beautiful person you have a beautiful girlfriend. Y'all are two of my favorite people in the <laughs> entire world. And I'm genuinely going to miss you. Thank you.